DJ AFK here, back with another tutorial from the Sisters of Eve. Uh, today we will do part one of Recon. Uh, this is a rather unorthodox mission, so we will perform it in an unorthodox way. Uh, technically, you don't have to kill any of the ships. Uh, this is a two-pocket mission, but in the first pocket, the acceleration gate is unlocked. And to complete the mission, all we need to do is activate the first acceleration gate. So, what we will do is first run a frigate to blitz the, the mission complete flag. Then we'll come back, get the Dominics, and kill all the ships like we usually do. That being said, let's check out the ship fit that we will do the shooting with. We are in a standard Dominics with sentry drones. Uh, this is against the Blood Raiders, so we will be focusing on using the Curator, which do EM damage, and these have a mid-range, uh, looks like 68 kilometer range for myself, uh, base value is 42 kilometers. We do EM damage, so that is good against the Blood Raiders. We also have Guards, which are short range, and Thermal damage, which is also good against the Blood Raiders. And we still have our light scout drone hobgoblins in case we get swarmed by frigates. We have drone damage amplifiers, mission specific thermal and EM hardener, damage control, armor repair, two omnidirectional tracking links for drone tracking, large micro jump drive, a sensor booster, with scan resolution and targeting range scripts and a micro warp drive so that we can run to the gate. We use our drone link augmenters to get a drone control range of 129 kilometers and I like to keep small rail guns in case a little annoying frigates and drones get a little bit too close. That being said, let's switch ships over to any old thing. Let's grab an Atron. Fit is not really important. Uh, it looks like from the wiki that as long as you're moving over 500 meters per second you will be able to speed tank your way to the gate and warp through. Let's accept mission and run through the blitz strategy first. Warp drive active. As we land on grid, uh, we will want to immediately run towards the gate before the ships spawn. And we do have our shield hardener just in case. Looks like there is one cruiser, one battleship, and the rest should start spawning pretty quickly. But we are already at the gate, so drive mission active. complete. Warp drive active. We have returned to station in our Blitz frigate. And, as we can see, we do have the complete mission button, and our objective has been completed with the blue check mark on the right pane. But for the part that uh, you would much rather watch, where we shoot everything in sight, let's grab our Dominics and do that. It looks like there are quite a few spawns. Alright, as we land back in the initial pocket, this is what we want to see. 
Uh, and these battleships are a little bit close to us. Let's go ahead and micro jump away in a direction that will let us come back to the acceleration gate better. Looks like in the second pocket here that we have mostly smaller ships, so they should go down pretty quickly. Right, let's go ahead and take out these small ones over here before anything else. And we have some capacitor newts. Well, that's not really helping us out any.
have returned to station. Uh, that was an interesting set once all of the spawns were out at the same time. Uh, it looks like the four types of spawns in the first pocket are about 60 to 90 seconds from when you warp in, as well as in the second pocket. Uh, they all give you about a minute between, and it looks like their combined DPS in that first pocket is around a thousand DPS. Uh, that would that would be about right. They were damaging me quite a bit. We should have had our wardens with us, and we did not end up needing our micro warp drive. So let's see what we could have done a little better. We did need our drone damage amplifiers and definitely needed our thermal and EM mission-specific hardeners, damage control and armor repair. The tracking links uh, came in a little bit handy. Some of the frigates and cruisers were pretty close. The jump drive we did use, and the sensor booster with scan resolution script always comes in handy. Uh, we could have swapped out the micro warp drive for a capacitor recharger, and that would have helped with the duration that I can run the repairer for. But most importantly, we should have traded out the guards for the wardens so that uh, we could shoot the battleships and uh, cruisers from 100 kilometers plus. We were having a little trouble with fall off range while they were out of the distance to damage us. But having said that, you don't need to shoot any ships at all, you just run through with a frigate, hit the gate, mission is over. But that's no fun. We got about 13 million in bounties. I'll take it. Let us complete mission and move on to the next part. Please leave your comments below. Let us know uh, if you have any different experiences. Always remember to fly safe.